Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Legion. And we need to discover what exactly is going on here with the Blood Totem Tribe. Now, off camera, I went ahead and took out the rest of the Harpies and got their feathers. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to Oak and Iron Bull here and kind of get to the bottom of this. Greetings, champion. Witch of the Wood. The Blood Totem don't often allow outsiders into their midst. Even asking them to give you an audience is a danger. High mountain stands. Your size belies your strength, Swindlegear. I could hear them screeching from here. With this victory and the defeat of the Witch of the Wood, Torok will surely be willing to see you. I should warn you that Torok is easily displeased and is hateful of outsiders. Be on your guard. We will seek an audience with him at his tent at the cliff's edge. As the river main emissary here, I am affording some protection against aggression, but they've made no such promises about you. Speak with Torok Blood Totem. I will never forget my life debt to you. Well, let's go ahead and go there, Oaken. What could possibly go wrong? Now, if you guys remember, uh, we saw some pretty pretty bad evidence that they are involved with things that they don't need to be involved with. Torok? The chief is expecting you down in the cave, Rivermane. Hmm. The river provides. Strange that he would be in the cavern at this time. Perhaps this is a good sign. Eh, I doubt it. All blood totem and distinguished guests must go through a trial of blood in the cavern beneath this outpost. I hope it's a good sign that they wish you to participate in this rite of passage. You will need to show proof of your deeds. Defeat a warmonger in single combat, then perform sacrifice at an altar deep in the cavern. Place the Witch of the Woods carcass on the altar and defeat a warmonger in single combat. High mountains, meet me in the cave below. They'll want to see the corpse of the harpy you slew. Gotcha. Every time I hear the word warmonger, though, all I think about is um, Skullmaster's minion from the Mighty Max cartoon. I don't know how many of you guys remember Mighty Max. That was probably the. L We're here to meet Ooh. with Torok. Oh. My companion slew the Witch of the Wood. Do we have to listen? They don't seem to care. But a uh, warmonger was Skullmaster's basic second in command, and he was the main villain in Mighty Max. The, la the last big toy craze I ever got into before I kind of got too old. Well, let's go ahead and put the carcass here on the table. A challenger? Let's see what this one is capable of. How you doing? Ah! No preamble or anything, he just got right to the hacking and the slashing, didn't he? Well, that's okay. I can hack and slash too. Whee! Yeah, that was pretty easy, I have to say. Thanks, man. Torok Blood Totem. Nice claws. Look at those things. High Mountain stands. They said an outsider would wield the hammer of Kazgaroth. I doubt you could even lift it. Oaken Iron Bull vouches for you. He's capable for a river main. You also brought with you proof of your own strength, albeit rather inconclusive proof. Before we allow you to move freely within our territory, you must complete the Rite of Blood, which you've already begun. If you succeed, and I doubt you will, talk to me. Enter the depths of the cave, defeat whatever foe appears, and return to me. Complete the Rite of Blood. 755 legs, 755 trinket. Well, we do need a new trinket, so... Beware. Does such weakness pass as strength where you come from? You talk a lot of trash, don't you? Well, come on, Oaken. I guess you're tagging along with me. Something about this doesn't seem right. I agree. Chant, what do you bet that all these guys are going to turn bad? I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, you did the Star Wars thing. Thanks, Oaken. Now it can't get <laughs> Now it's definitely going to get worse. Navarog, 
Ah, oh, this is the Stone Dark leader that we talked to earlier. <laughs> Careful. This is a More trap. souls. Come and accept your fate. Oh, Oaken. No. So, Blood Totem is in league with the Burning Legion. That's fun. However, it looks like Navarog is fighting alongside us, so... Hero, use this rune to empower yourself. What rune? Oh, here's a rune. Fair enough. Oh, I'm feared. Uh oh. Let's get Blade Fury up. There's now green crap on the ground. All kinds of things are happening. Ah. So he's just throwing runes down that apparently increase our um, offensive capability. Let's turn off Blade Fury since it's just us now. Feared me again. It's okay though. We can go ahead and heal up. That just buys us time. Roll the bones. So these are... There we go. Really? Well, I guess, by the way, I love the look of these fell possessed, uh, the fell possessed Torin look awesome. Well, let's go, oh, we gotta talk to, uh, Navarog. Thank you for saving me. I hope now we can trust each other. We must if we're able to defeat these fell totem. We should leave this place while we have a chance. The Blood Totem are amassing at their village to the north, and I believe they intend to kill my people. Let me know when you're ready to go, and I can take us to a safe place quickly. Speed with Navarog to meet him at a safe location. Fair enough. First, first things first, though. 733. Get a new trinket. Empower the dread blades up just a little bit. And let's get out of here. Navarog's Refuge. Oh, there's a rare spawn right outside. You have little reason to trust me, but we have a common enemy in the Blood Totem and I could use your help. I raised creatures born of the earth to help defend myself and my people. When I was captured, I ordered them to stay behind at our home, but they're off... They are often disobedient and likely tried to follow me. If they did, I fear the Blood Totem may have captured them. Or worse, in my current state, I can't muster the strength to find them. If you do, it would be much appreciated. Find Navarog's pets. Oh. Without my crystalline focus, my powers are weak. Those who captured me took it, and I know not where it is now. I'm sure one of the Fell Totem has it. If you find it, return it to me. By Navarog's Stone Dark Focus. Torrent go too far. I did not escape their outpost for fear that they would attack the cave and slaughter my people. It looks like they planned to do it all along. Slay some of the Fell Totem and thin the herd. Slay ten Fell Totem Torrin. And it's actually weird because other than... Oh, I forgot the name of that tribe. Um... There's a tribe of, t of Torin that are normally seen as bad. For some reason, I can't remember their names right now. But you don't normally see the totem go full out fell and support the Burning Legion, so this was definitely a first. So this is the fell totem camp. Yeah, check that out. Just the fell along the horns and everything. This looks so, so cool. Do you have anything in your pockets? Just copper? Everyone is so poor here! Why is everyone so poor here? The Broken Isles in a recession? Man, we gotta be very careful here just because, as you can see, all of the Fell Totem are kind of in a concentrated 
way. Oh. Well, he saw me, but I was still able to get my shot in. So we try and take these guys down quick. Holy crap, these guys hit hard. I'm, as you can see, and it's something that you guys might have been noticing, the game's difficulty actually... Navarog's toy won't do him any good against me. Um, the difficulty of the game actually gets harder the higher, uh, the higher you go up. Normally what it was is that you would become more formidable to the stuff around you, but actually I have found that the NPCs become more dangerous the higher up you get, and I, I really like that. Let's eat a little bit of maze here and get our health back up. Come on. Hey there, Smee. What are you up to, little guy? Make sure Blade Fury is off. Let's resap this guy and take him out. Shovel him off the mortal coil. I'm gonna have to try and stun those burning slashes, I'm thinking. Or the burning fury. These guys have a lot of burning things on their person. I think they should probably go see a doctor. Oh, we got a good roll of bones there. And they all seem to be using either hammers or fist weapons. It'd be kind of a weird thing, because these guys seem definitely the most warlike. The Skyhorns are pretty good too, but the one or the tribe over at Skyhorn. But, that is a very fast-moving rare spawn. Majestic Elderhorn. Oh, okay. Well, we... Let's go ahead and take care of him. He's a huge moose that runs around this area. So he stays relatively mobile. Let's see if we can just be here on the road and maybe run into him. But, like, in Star Trek, this would be the equivalent of... The Klingons being one of the most warlike and dangerous races, and finding out that the entire race worshipped Cthulhu, or, or or something like that, that would be <laughs> pretty bad news for everyone in that particular sector of space. And we hadn't seen a lot of the Burning Legion here in High Mountain, so now you know where they're trying to uh, make their mark. They're using the Fell Totem Warmongers here. And that this tribe to probably make some portals. There's the elder horn. He just showed up on the. Ow! <laughs> I was not aware. Whoops! I had my eyes on. Where is he? There he is. Look at that majestic beast running right toward me. <laughs> He's coming right for us. Well, let's see what we can do here. Now, he does do a lot of damage. So we gotta... kind of be um, agile here because he does do a charge that we can't avoid. He's actually normally a, uh, a world objective. But we've got him at a time where he's actually not pumped up for 110, so... We're doing more damage to him than normal. So that's good. Let's keep the hate on. Yeah, we can just move around all of his attacks for the most part. Guess he has to concentrate for that charge there. Nessing Rary would certainly like this. Strange he didn't give this to us as a quest. Boop. Majestic Elder Horn Hoof. Which I already have. Some resources. And a little bit of power. Cool. So let's go ahead and get back to business. Fortunately, none of the Fell Totem decided to uh, interfere. Zap. Copper. Shank. That's our mantra. Sap, copper, shank. 
And that mantra will change when they stop, when they actually uh, drop something other than copper. Then they'll start dropping twine. Now, what is Feltotem slain? That's back in the his hiding place. I like the fact that his hiding place is like right, incredibly close to the Feltotem. <laughs> I know there's another rare spawn over here, and this rare spawn is actually very interesting. Let's see what we can do. Head over and see if she's actually active. Yep, there she is. Shara Fellbreath. So she's probably like, if I recall, she's like a fallen shaman. And they have hounds too. Now, we're not going to get any badness coming in. Fell Totem Warlock. Oop. Sap, get some copper. Let's deal with this imp here, just because... Don't want him backstabbing us. There we go. Now, we should be good to go. Roll the bones. Let's do this. Boop. Love fighting those casters. Fell implosion, which means these orbs are going to move in and go boom. <laughs> so you just avoid the boom as best you can. And we have... We have imps. Imps have been summoned. It makes sense. It's a warlock. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage. Let's go ahead and turn Blade Flurry off and just focus on the Tauren. Ugh. And we'll Cloak of Shadows. Just to give us a few seconds of invulnerability. There we go. And when the caster dies, the summons go away too. Excellent. How many more Bell Totem? We need to kill two. And fortunately, this Bloodhound counts as a Tauren. I'm okay with this. The sooner we get done with this one, we can go rescue the Shard, the Gravel, and the Frag. Oh, the Pet Rocks. Quite literally in this case. Which are probably little elemental guys, I would assume. Instead of actual pet rocks. So it's accurate in one way. Defeated a few of our weakest fighters. <laughs> no matter. When the fell blood courses fully through our veins, even that precious artifact of yours won't do us harm. You talking trash about the Dreadblades? Eh? Well, now we can take the stealthy approach, fortunately. Everything gets sapped. We will track down these rocks. Looks like we have... That's weird. So they run to a random location, summon an imp, and... Okay. Sounds like a plan. Now, most of them are up here on the mountain. This is where we were before. I kind of got distracted with that rare spawn. There should be a ramp relatively close by. There we go. Let's Torox Bluff. And another rare spawn. Nice. Rare spawns everywhere. Melok, son of Torok. Ah. Okay. Are we going to go ahead and uh, make sure that these guys don't procreate? Just wipe out the entire line? I'm okay with this. So let's just shoot him in the face. And these drum guys aren't even paying attention. Good, you guys just play your drums. Play your drums, do your training. 
pay no attention to the fact that your uh, one of your princes is about to shuffle off the mortal coil. He hurts a little bit though, and he stuns, which is good. Anytime I fight a Torin, as annoying as it is, I should be stunned because that's their uh, racial ability, is they have that hoof stomp. Which is a really good thing for a lot of fighting classes to have. Um, especially tanks, because they it gives them another interrupt. Almost got him. And he is very agile for a big cow man. Uh oh. Let's uh whoop. We uh pulled some Unfortunate hound action, but it's okay. We were able to kill him and secured the artifact. So let's drink some of our crimson brew, our grog. And I guess we'll sneak over here. Where are we needing to go? Because I wasn't seeing Rescue Frag. Weird. It wasn't showing where the other ones were. It's all the way down there on that... Ah, they're all over here. So we just came up here for no reason. Oh well. well let's go ahead and... Uh, we're using the belts. Some gl goblin glider action. And we'll make a few circles, just like a plane in real life. Yoink. Yeah, they're little elemental guys. Oh, pity. That wretched shardling isn't moving. Its death was neither quick nor painless, I assure you. Oh, I'm really going to like killing you. It's like... I normally have to pay charge services. I would gladly do it for free. So one of the pets is not here. Or not among the living anymore. Let's see. See if we can rescue Shard. Shard seems to be alive. And I'm going to take out some frustration here on this Torrin. Every time I kick a tall character, I assume that I'm kicking them right in the groin. Nice. Well, we at least got one. Go on, big guy. And Uno Mas. Looks like all of them were hidden right outside of uh, Navrog's cave. But, needless to say, for being such a big guy, a drog bar, he tends to attract suspicion. And, how are you? You're breathing. Take your last copper. And then we'll take your last breath, because that sounds completely fair to me. Oh, you summoned a dog. Didn't help, though. Two out of three ain't bad. Shame about the other one, though. He is not going to be a happy camper when he finds out one of his pets are down. I'm very much like that in the movies. If, the, if a human character dies, I, I normally don't care that much. The second that you kill an animal or a loving or a loved pet, oh, it's on. On like Donkey Kong. Okay, Navarog. Frag has fallen. The youngest of my pets was perhaps my most dear. Curse the blood totem and their cruelty. And we got your crystal. Let's. We gave the bad news first. I have power over the earth without my crystal, but my power is much greater with it than without. 
This will help me repair my broken body. And their numbers are fewer, but they still threaten our safety. You have proven a much greater ally than the Blood Totem ever were. With my Focus Crystal, my wounds are healed. I fear Frag was too far gone to revive. Torok and his Blood Totem will suffer for what they've done to us. Let's pay them a visit before they can mount an attack against the cave of my people. Defeat Torok Blood Totem at Torok's Bluff. Ooh, we get a nice artifact upgrade. Huzzah! And looks like he's going to tag along with us. So I'm going to work my way up to the top again, and I'll see you guys there. So as you guys can probably imagine, this big guy really hampers stealth. But we are back here at the Blood Totem, uh, or Torox Bluff. Uh, we have a group objective. Um, we're at 88%. We should be able to finish this off by crossing the bridge. Torok has been talking a lot of trash. We are Blood Totem. Would you let the weak overcome us? Maybe. As you can see, he gets into the way quite a bit. But he does help out when combat happens, so... We're at 94%, so killing these guys, the group objectives are getting a little bit more reasonable. That you're not just sitting there having to spam. So, what better way to end the objective and vengeance for the stone dark than to take on good old Torok Blood Totem who just took time to kill a rat. What are you doing there, Torok? How did that rat insult you? Hey! Now Navarog is uh, sending his pets, which is also a nice little form of justice. Considering what they did to one of his. It actually makes sense. You take one of his pets, we kill one of your sons. That seems completely fair. Kind of. It's probably good in the, the goblin rate of exchange. Now we've stunned him. Whoa. You and your demonic cleaves. It's a bad cow. But I think that's all she wrote here. And bam. Trouble the stone dark again. Let's head to the homeland of my people. You've earned my trust. The Stone Dark are not yet safe for him, our brothers led by Darkul the Underking. We would willingly join Mela High Mountain and her Torin against them. So, now we actually have a tribe of Drogbar who are willing to join us, because they are not fans of Dargul. Achievement progress, Blood Totem Tribe. With the threat to my people quelled, I believe it's time to introduce you to my kin. Meet me at Stone Dark Grotto and you will see where we live. Speak with Navarog at Stone Dark Grotto. Whoa. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, guys. Well, a good bit of work today. We had a little bit of sadness with a pet dying, but we got vengeance and then some. So we will go ahead and end it here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hello. <laughs> he respawned. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Uh, but he's not the genuine article. We killed that guy. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> if you liked the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>